Welcome to the introduction of the calorimetry laboratory. This video just goes over quickly how to get started in the calorimetry lab as well as some of its features. If you want detailed information, check out our other videos on our Vimeo website. To get started in calorimetry, you're often going to need to either select a calorimeter or some type of sample or a combination of both. We have organic samples, we have reactions that you can choose from, we have salts that you can choose from, as well as metals. So for example, if I wanted to select a metal, then I could select a calorimeter and I can drag that calorimeter to the bench top, drag the metal over to the balance if I wanted to, or any of the compounds, the salts, the organics. You can click on the balance and you can add weigh paper. You can weigh out any solids you might have. Let's go ahead and weigh this cesium. Notice that I didn't tear you will want to keep in mind that this acts just like a real lab. And then we can move that cesium over here to the oven if we wanted, stick the cesium in the oven, close the oven, increase the temperature, turn the oven on and off, and then add the cesium to our calorimeter if we wanted to. There's ice that you can add to your calorimeter you can get water from the sink as well as get beakers from the drawer. Um, there is a lab book on the bench top that will open up the lab book over here. There is a timer on the bench top that opens up our timer on our live data screen. There's a thermometer that's being read in the calorimeter. You can see if you mix water and uh, cesium bad things happen. So if you need to clean up your lab bench, you can either click the red bucket here or clear the lab here. Uh, notice the energy, use it, energy unit chart on the wall, as well as the ability to switch between pressure and temperature. The pressure in the calorimetry lab is listed in units of tor or millimeters mercury. And you can also accelerate time by clicking on the clock on the wall. On our system tray here, you can view live data, uh, access the stock room, create and use unknowns, access your lab notebook where you can write notes and access any presets. So for example, if I wanted to do a preset with a calorimetry unknown, here I have this metal and let's go ahead and get a doer. And just to show you how the lab book might work with my live data, I can click save data. We can even heat the calorimeter, stir it, stop the timer, stop saving data, and then any data we've saved is being added to our lab notebook. Just trying to show you the different things you can do in the calorimetry lab.